Hey, it's Tom Kenny, cartoon SpongeBob. And it's Ethan Slater, Broadway SpongeBob. And we're hanging with... J14. Uh, you know, the pre I, OG SpongeBob was so good about uh, <laughs> relieving that pressure and just being there to be like a team player and do like just kicking butt as Patchy. Um, you know, it was it was so much just a let's make this thing the best possible that it relieved the pressure. That said, like everyone loves SpongeBob, and so I really wanted to do justice by him. <laughs> it's OG Wiz SpongeBob, but uh, yeah, yeah, it was really fun being around the Broadway cast. You know, having seen the show a, a few times, uh, and then to be in the thick of it was uh, was scary and intimidating because it's so outside of my comfort zone of standing in a, a recording booth, you know, just screaming. Uh, it, it was, it was, it was really different, really like, like you described uh, uh, earlier, Ethan, like j j just that kind of worry and terror and uncertainty sort of turning into like exhilaration. It's, yeah. I guess that's kind of what keeps us doing what we're doing. It's kind of the hook. That's kind of the hook in our <laughs> fish mouth that keeps, you keep searching for that perfect wave, you know, uh, uh, all the time. You know, that, I think that's why people do what we do. Yeah, and then after that fear, you were just so good. Oh, shucks. Truly, it's so good. And you can see it, so. Oh, man, and this guy, come on. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sure you've seen Ethan defy the laws of physics and do, have his body do <laughs> things that a, a body really shouldn't be able to do while singing incredibly high notes and playing a ukulele. No, I don't know. I didn't know anything about Broadway like until I have a 17 year old daughter who who is is into uh, you know the world of theater, and she's kind of taken me along. My older son was, you know, that wasn't his bag at all. My 23 year old, so my 17 year old, uh, like any Broadway education that I've had or musicals or whatever, has been within the last handful of years. Like I wasn't a theater kid. I was, you know, I, I didn't do any of that. So. Uh, yeah, I never saw myself in my wildest uh, dreams. No, no. I, I mean, I love, I love going to Broadway shows and and seeing it. But, but yeah, in terms of of uh, being it, I don't know that I want to do it again because it was a com complete. Uh, it was it was like a terrifying roller coaster. <laughs> that that like once you're done, what well, once you skydive out of the plane, you're like, I don't know if I need to do that again. I don't know if I need to risk my life and because because I I almost I spent I almost puked about twenty times uh, during it out of sheer. Uh, 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 fear. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, it's really tough. It like changed every time, but I have to, my go-to favorite song was, I guess I miss you, John Legend. I love performing it. I just love what it means, like this, the, how important this friendship and between SpongeBob and Patrick is like, it's just so perfectly expressed by John Legend. Like, I just love, I just beautiful love that. Song. Beautiful song. Beautiful song, beautifully performed by two actors who do, uh, I can attest to it, in real life, genuinely uh, like each other a lot. So, so, yeah. so I, I, th I think that was really neat to see. And, uh, and, and the, the, the relationship of, of Bill Fagerbacke, the cartoon Patrick and I, uh, is the same. So, so that, that, was, uh, that was really cool. I mean, Squidward's uh, I'm Not a Loser song was like a, is a complete great showstopper great song great performance and uh and uh you know having uh, co-wrote best day ever uh i was just amazed that that found its way into this broadway show after after having written it for the cartoon way back in 2004. i mean gotta uh, plug it that song is incredible and oh, and getting to sing that song every night first of all um i think it was uh sneakily the hardest song to sing because it was oh, cool. like exactly where it sat, very end of the show, and also just like jumping around the stage and like singing and dancing and like. <laughs> well, that moment in the show where the town's about to be destroyed and people, uh, figuratively speaking, link hands or link fins, yeah. and uh, and and say you know basically the, you know the vibe is this might be our last time together. Let's make it Spoiler. count. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, they say, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. No, I'm not going to say if the if the world really does get destroyed or not. That would be a spoiler. But but uh, 
<laughs> but to see people in the audience like getting emotional during that, like tearing up was like wild. And and Andy Paley, who co-wrote the song with me, like like we just looked at each other like wow like like this the song was being used in a totally different way than we intended or initially but it but it was applicable to this other you know this other situation on on stage and, and people were tearing up and then dabbing at their eyes you know it was like it was it was really mind-blowing <laughs> 